everyone welcome back to my channel um if you saw my vlog the other day you will know that i went to cardiff and i bought a load of camera stuff at auction and i was going to do a camera haul so i'm going to start it i'm going to this is going to be in like probably three parts maybe more i'm not sure yet um so i've got three boxes a load of camera bags and then one of these big shopping bags i'm not going to go through the shopping bag because all that's in here is different camera cases where they've taken the cameras out to display them but uh, later on i will see if i can match the cameras to those cases however i'm just going to lean over here there were also lots of these kinds of camera bags as well so i'm going to go through them all with you um there's some loose bits around i'm just picking those up now so i can just that. there's also lots of things like camera manuals and paperwork that came with it so what I've got is I've got a couple of empty buckets here I've got a square one to put paperwork and manuals in and see if we've got any manuals for any of the cameras I've got I don't think we have I think they're separate but never mind and the round tub is for things like these uh what they call the body caps that's a Minolta one and these are lens caps that's a Pentax one so I've got some of these and they're in various bags and boxes so as I find them I'm just gonna very quickly chuck them into the various things so the first thing I've done is put those in there <laughs> so when I bought this um the first thing I picked out and had a quick look at was this this is a kenko for digital automatic extension tube set dg for three rings it is however for a sony autofocus camera i don't have a sony autofocus camera or a digital camera by sony and i probably will never buy one so i will sell this on ebay and get some of my money back oh, before we go any further i will say that i spent a total of, of just around 120 pounds at the auction in total that was for two lots of cameras and equipment and two lots of costume jewelry which will be separate videos as well um i've looked this up it's selling for around 55 pounds including shipping that's half my money back on the cameras which were just under 100 pound um not that i'm selling it to make a profit i'm just selling it really because i'm never gonna use it I'm not ever going to buy a Sony digital camera. I am a Canon camera girl. I love Canon cameras. So, so that's the first thing. So it was nice to pull that out and see that it, it, I can actually get some of my money back and then I can buy more cameras. So, hooray! I'm just going to put everything off to the side here. I've got the table clean so I can do it. I then picked out a, a compact camera. This is a Canon SureShot 80 Tele. Now this one does work. I don't know how well it works because um, all I've done so far is put a battery in it and I've got a roll of film in it. So I'm currently working through testing this one. And I'm looking forward to see it, but it does work. Um, let me switch it on. Oops. It was switched on. There you go, switch it on. And it zooms out and in. All right. So it seems to work fine. Um, obviously, when I develop the roll of film, I've got black and white film in it, so I've got no color chems at the moment. 36 exposures. I have used up 16. I'm on 16. So I'll probably use up about 20 with making sure it was rounding. So I'm going to carry on checking that one and see how that goes. So that's the Canon Sure Shot 80 Tele. What's the matter? Where's your toy gone? What you done with it? Where's, where's the puppy? What's that? Yeah. So, when we got to the auction, everything was spread out. Um, so these bags were actually empty. We filled them up, other than the paperwork, which was still in there. So this is a Fotima bag that is a bit of messy and good. So I'm just checking that there's nothing in them that I want. I have got here already a bag of batteries that I've taken out of the cameras and camera bags and I'm putting them in here to take them to the waste station where they have a proper disposal site for it. So in this bag, what's it 
is a Dixon Disc 3 500 camera, which will not work because you can't get the film anymore. Um, so I'm not really bothered about that. It's just your basic disc camera. I never liked these when they were originally out. I never bought one when they were originally out. So. really good condition to be honest it, it probably wasn't used very much but I'm not going to do that I'll put that to the back there are certain things in there that I will be keeping so there's a packet of Zeiss lens wipes it's not a full one it's not a completely full box but it doesn't really matter it's really handy to have you can see this is going to take a while we've got a Hoya skylight filter 62.0 I have no idea that's a big lens I think it's still sealed actually oh that's my phone yeah this is actually still sealed it's still got its uh, silver I don't know if you can see it manufacturing seal on, on the corner so never been used got some manuals here we've got a Contaflex Super so I'm going to just chuck that in the manuals box. We've got a carrot 3.5, which is an Ag for Carrot. And then there's another Ag for Carrot guide here. So like I said, I'm just going to chuck them in. If I find a camera that goes with any of those books, I'll pop them together. I haven't tested these yet. There's a couple of flashes here. There's a National PE201C um, flash basic one just off on and yeah just off and on really so there's that one I know there's no batteries in this because I've already checked and taken them out if there were any then we've got a Miranda 630 CD multi dedicated flash so it's got it's the ones with the bounce head again this one had batteries in it that had corroded I've taken the batteries out I do just need to get some vinegar white vinegar and clean contacts you are making a lot of noise. The next one we have in here is a Practica body. It's the Practica BC1 Electronic. These, I have no idea if this works. The shutter fires. Oh, it did. Yeah, that's it. There you go. You can hear the shutter fire in. There's no lens on it. I know how to get the back open. But I haven't figured out how to get the batteries. You've got a screw there and there. So it's got to be one of those. I would have thought, but I don't know. What I will do is I'll go online and download a manual. Oh, I've just set the timer off. I don't, yeah, there it goes. Can you hear that? So the timer's working. Didn't fire though. There we are. There we are. So they all need cleaning. And I need to find if I can find the bodies, uh, um, any lenses or any body caps. If they work and I can't find a body cap, I will see if I can get one on eBay. Then we have a piece of cardboard. First of the Minolta's, this person dealt in Minolta's, there's a load of Minolta's. Or oh, he didn't sell them. I don't have batteries for this one yet, I have ordered some. So this is the Minolta Dynex 505SI. There are, he has got identifying stickers on the back which I will be removing so I will need to get some glue gone but again I can't tell whether this one works because I do not have a um, battery for it hang on a second here we go here we go where's it gone oh where's your phone gone she hasn't really got a phone it's just a toy one having her in the chair next week. I know, it does keep you quiet, don't you? Have a rattle. I'll make you some food in a minute. Two more Minolta's in this one. There's loads of Minolta's. And this is the Dynex 3000i. Again, no uh, lens body thing on it, no lens, no body cap. Another identifying sticker on the back. Again, I don't have batteries for this, it is on order. Luckily a lot of them take the same battery so I can just put one in and check it. 
And then the next one is the Melter Dynex 7000 I. The one thing I've noticed about these Melters is this, the hand grip where it's been held so much is faded. It, there's a lot of wear on it, which is a shame. But other than that, they look to be in really good condition. And in the bottom here, I have an Olympus Mu 1. So not the fabled Mu 2, but a Mu 1. Again, I, I have been watching videos on this. And I, it took me ages to figure out where the batteries go. And now I found it. So hopefully, I don't know if I've got a battery for that one. I'm not sure which one it is. It doesn't really say. Does it say? Hang on, where's my magnifying glass? I've got a magnifying I'll look at it after. So there's a new one. Now, this case is quite scratched up. But it's a lovely pocket-sized camera. So, again, I will put batteries in it, film and test it. I will get some colour developer, though, so I can just get shot. Nothing in that. Anything in the sides? There's no side pockets on this one. There's something in here. And it is... Oh, it looks like some sort of filter. This is what I mean. It's filled with the thing. So there you go. There's a little tiny filter for some lens. Because I'm trying to sort it and I need to list everything so I know what I've got. I'm just going to pop that in with the uh, caps. And that, I think, is everything. That one? Yes, it is. All right, sweetie. So that's that first bag over with. I'm just going to go and put the kettle on to make her some milk. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to go and feed Jennifer because you were hungry, weren't you, sweetheart? So she's back now in her little high chair. And we'll carry on with this little haul. So this is the next thing. I actually looked this up a minute ago because I didn't know what it was. And apparently this is an, this is an ag for telly. And apparently it's a flash unit. There's no bulbs in it or anything, uh, but that's what it is. So I've got no idea whether it works, um, but that's interesting. It's, it's a flash unit, there you go. If it focus, it doesn't want to, anyway. I had you know, no idea what that was. <laughs> that was really weird. There we go. What's the matter? Next is a compact in a box. It's in its original cardboard box. This is really a cheap plastic camera. The only good thing is it is in its original box with its original instructions and its original strap, which hasn't been attached. It's in a case. Um, and it literally is a very basic compact camera with flash. Um, it's by a company called Goldline. It's a Goldline Classic MD2 motor drive. I will try it. There's no batteries in it. Like I said, it's probably never been used because it's in its original case and its original box with all its bits and the strap's not been. That's the only thing I can say that it's got going for it. I have seen one of these down one of the charity shops never picked up because you can see, you can tell by the feel of it that it's a really cheap plastic camera. Like I said, it's got, i just take that out, the instruction manual in it. And it's just a sheet of paper. I will try it out just to have a look because I think it might be quite fascinating. What's the matter? Your button's not working again. There you go. So there is another compact. So let's grab another bag. Oh, that's heavy. I think they're all gonna fall out. Here we go, here's another bag. This is a very nice, heavy, Looks like a doctor's bag, I know it's not. So in the front, there's a few bits. Well, there's one major bit and it is a case, just a white plastic case that has a lens cleaning kit in it. Looks like it might have been used, but if it has, it's once or twice. So again, that's gonna be handy when I've been cleaning all these lenses that I've got. When I get there, I'm gonna pop that those lens wipes. I think there's yet another one as well somewhere. We've got a lens hood in a piece of blue plastic. I don't think it says. Oh yes it does. Hang on. This is for an Olympus camera which is great because I've got a lot of Olympuses. So again I will pop that in there with all those bits. There's all sorts in here. Um, first of all, there's this little packet. This is one of those envelopes that you used to put your film in to send away 
to get your prints and at the time postage was only 25 pence and the minimum order was two pounds and yeah from negative color film 5 by 5 95p or from 35 millimeter 33p mad I don't know the date on this that's quite an interesting little thing so this is the mag magazine color print service color print express Cambridge hmm. but inside oh, we have all sorts so we've got oh look we've got a credit card receipt here from, I'm not gonna um, and the person spent £90.70. I can't see where it was. Somewhere in, it's a, a shop in Bristol. Customer coffee. I think this is probably the rest of the bills. Um, £2.35. H. Salenson and Company Limited. Optical photographic and audiovisual specialist at 83 to 85 Fairfax Street, Bristol BS1. You wonder what's there now so there's some receipts <laughs> this stuff is fascinating so it looks like these might have been for that was £90.70 so that's the one that goes with that and it's for a Pentax I think something like that anyway it's for Pentax they've got the date on it 7th of the 10th I think that says 63 oh 83 or 85 so it's, it's sometime in the 1980s <laughs> I'll get it don't panic here it is there you go I'm sorry about the banging in the background but you know what babies like so here's a Miranda information on the macro lens I will put this all back in here guarantee for a Pentax how to remove the front cover as you see from this photograph then we've got a Pentax uh, lenses and accessories booklet and these are really cool and it's got the um, Salenson stamp on the back just there from Bristol serial number of your camera body and lens is and it's got the camera body so whoever it was bought a Pentax MG and I have the manual if I haven't got the camera I will probably pop the manual on eBay for a couple of quid to get it out of my house because uh, if I haven't got the cameras I'm going to keep in the manual soon and I'm not sure what cameras are here because when we were packing it up there was so much I was literally just Bye. literally just packing everything into boxes as quickly as we could or into the camera bags and uh, oops there we go let's get that back in there putting it into it I do think it's a really interesting piece of social history so you've got the prices and where it was from. Oh, that shop probably doesn't exist. I've never heard of sounds. I will look it up though. So that goes into the manuals. Next is, oh, this is a lovely looking body. This body looks mint. This is a Canon EOS 650. No lens strap. I don't have a battery for this yet. I'm hoping that it really does work because, I don't know, I don't know how you, there you go. it just looks immaculate. Uh, on the inside as well it's one of the few that's got the body cap on it this one I cannot wait to try and I will be testing this one as soon as I get the battery in fact I think the battery for this one might be coming tomorrow if it is it'll be tested pretty quickly next we've got another Minolta Dynex 3000 I think that's the second one of those we've had um, that one doesn't really have as much wear on the grip so another one of those I said there's lots of Minolta's. What's this one? This is a Minolta 7000. Again, it's got that same sort of wear on the grip. I think that's not that one. One of these cameras has got a little thing. So there's a battery in here. It's not mine. Is it? Is it mine? That's actually probably my battery. I brought that down to test to, just in case. I found anything that needed this, which is the uh, CRP2. The one I needed was the two CR5. That's there just to be on the safe side. Then there's another lens cap here, 58mm one. 
doesn't doesn't have a brand name on it, so it's just a generic lens cap. And that's the good thing is you can just buy generic lens caps if you need them. So I go in our lens cap bucket. We have got. Oh, that's a noisy one. A light meter. Nope. Which I don't think is going to be working. A selenium meter. Um. Yeah. Hannah Um, is there one more item? Shh, shh, shh. She just wants me to cuddle her, which she wants all the time. So, alright, guys. Um, I'll finish that. Sorry about this. Okay, she's she's fine. She just wants me to play with, so I've given her my mobile phone for now, so hopefully that'll keep her quiet for a little while. Last thing in here, other than a couple of button batteries which aren't mine because mine are in packets so I'm going to pop them in my battery bag is a cheap Polaroid compact now I did put a battery in here and it didn't seem to work so one double A so I don't think that one's going to work but I will have a proper look and test it properly later um, Again, it's a little plasticky camera, so if it doesn't work, I'm not that bothered about putting it in the, the bin. Now, this has actually got the name and address of the person that owned this lovely camera bag in it on a tag. And they lived in fish ponds in Bristol, which is where my family used to. I actually really like this case, and I'm probably going to keep that for me. It's a nice vintage case. I can use that as a handbag, I would. It's almost like a doctor's case, that one. I like that bag. Okay. I'll grab another case. So this case hasn't got much in it. It is a Pentax case, it's a very strange one. I don't know whether it's for like a camcorder or a cine camera. No idea, there's only one thing in it. I think there are a couple of things in it. Yeah, there's not much in it. There's, uh, what's that there, hang on. It's a bit of a, looks like a back or a part of a strap, which can go in there. Got another flash, this one is the Fotax 133 solid state. Flash, no idea what that would be a flash for. So, there's more flashes, don't worry, I'm sure there is. Um, we have our first roll of used film. As you can see, this is actually, I think it's been used because I would say it has by the way it is, but it may not have been, it may have been put in a camera and, what's the matter? And taken out again. So, that's our first roll of found film. I'm just gonna pop that in the bucket. There's a lens cloth. <laughs> I love these things. Now what we've got here, we've got a manual for something in here. This is again a Pentax Emi Super manual. I don't think there's a Pentax Emi Super in one of the boxes. I couldn't say for 100%. I know there's not any of the camera bags, but I don't think there is. That'll go in the manuals box. This is a very bizarre bag. And there's one uh, little camera in here. Yeah, it's, it's a good sturdy case vintage Pentax case. It was obviously sold another auction previously. Um, for whatever reason it ended up in my auction. So that's that bag and we'll have a look at this last camera so we'll get out of the way. And this is a Kodak camera. It's just a, a compact. Oh it's an Advantix. That's why I'm not that happy about it. I'm not bothered about it because Advantix dead format rubbish. Um, Never did use an advantage. <laughs> it's all right, I'll get it uh, when they were out. <laughs> all right, darling. She likes playing with the phones. Um, never had an advantage when it first came out. There was sort of a stopgap between film and digital, a bit of both. Whee! <gasps> um, I would not even know how this works. I got to be honest. So I know the batteries go in there. The film goes in there, but how you actually get the film in, I haven't got a clue. So the batteries go in there, the film goes in that side. It's probably not something I'm ever going to test. I'll leave that. It's got a nice little collection of cameras growing over here now and flashes and things. No lenses, they're all in the boxes. No lenses in the bags. What's next? Okay. Here we go. We have a very, very tiny bag here. Um, 
Tamarack Digital, so it's just a case, got a bottom. Come, you can take this bit off, I believe. Yeah, it goes all the way around. There's nothing in the bottom. I don't know if there's anything in, in the thing. There is nothing in the front compartment, but there is something in the case. So, first of all, we've got a set of cables and a Samsung charger. But it's, an, it's a uh, two pin charger. Pop that there. And it's another Minolta. This one is the Dynex. 500 SI again. I think it's the second one of those, isn't it? This is a black one. I think we've got a silver one. No, 505. Again, it's got a number on the back. Um, I haven't got a battery for this one, so this is one of the batteries I'm waiting for. As soon as it arrives, I'll be popping the battery in just to see if it powers up. If it powers up, I will look for a lens. So I've got a load of lenses as well. So that was the only one in that one. I'll just move that over there. We got three more bags to go. Alright, here we go. I'll put Yellow Submarine on for a bit and she'll like that. So this is the next bag. This is a NG. It looks a little bit mouldy. Doesn't smell mouldy though. It's a quite sturdy leather case. Well, look at it. Nice. He's there. Uh, oh, there's some bits in the front. Oh, we've got another lens cap. Let's go in there. So as you can see, it looks a bit, bit mouldy. Doesn't particularly smell it though, so I'll probably give it a good clean and see how it goes. And in here we've got a Olympus, I think. Let me just get that bit up manual for an OM10 I think. Let's get it out and have a look. So there is a cable release in here as well. So a little cable release there for a camera so that can go in odds and sods uh, jar for now. We've got a Kodak colour film exposure guide. That's, that's pretty cool. Like that. That's pretty cool. There you go. Well, it is! I know. An OM10 manual. Instruction manual for the OM10. I don't think there's one of those in. I wish there was. How to use your Sunpack GT20 Gold Tube Solid State Electronic Flash. Which I believe is here somewhere. Solid State. Not that one. Uh, oh, it's this one here. That was one says it says Photax solid state, but hmm. So there's that as well. Then we've got Hanamex Sarconic Leader Deluxe. This is the manual that goes with the exposure meter. So that's handy to have exposure meter, that's handy to have. And then this is a lens manual, a bit about a lens, and the Olympus camera authorised distributor list. I love all these bits of paper. I really love them. So put those back in there. There might be some more in the boxes. I'm not sure. There's all sorts of stuff in there. I know. It's in there. And now on to the main part of the box. We've got a Centon K200. That's a cheaper camera, I believe. Um, it's got one of these on the bottom. I have no idea how this one works. Is this the one with the film in it? No. I know there is one with a roll of film in it, but I think it's an unused roll of film. So, again, I need to see if I've got a, a, a lens for it. And then in the bottom here, I've got a compact camera in a case says Samsung on it so this might be interesting so this is a Samsung Fino 700XL says 2000 millennium edition oh just check there's no batteries in it no I, I've taken the battery out that one actually I remember doing it 
so because the batteries were dying and I didn't want them leaking so that's quite a nice shiny old camera and I don't know if it works but I do like playing with these compacts and having a look so there's that one so I'll put that back at least that's in its case it's not actually been separated from it like most of them right that's all in that bit I'm just right here we have a Dynax 4 Minolta Dynax 4 this one's got a roll of film in it. <laughs> I don't know if that's the roll of film I saw before, but it's definitely got a roll of film. <laughs> no, because I don't know how to open the back of this one. So, there's a roll of film in that one. Yay. Cool. Again, I need to check batteries. And... So there's no battery um, compartment on this, so I'll have to fudge it to see if it'll work and then try and get one from somewhere. All right, darling. We have a, another compact. This one says JKICA. DX Auto Flash Japan Lens KR737. That's to rewind the film. Battery compartment's empty, that's good. There's no film in it, obviously. As far as I can tell. There's, no, there's no battery, there's nothing. So there's that one. I have no idea about this make or model camera at all. As you see, it's very hard. This is why I'm not making that many videos. Because she constantly grizzles if I'm not paying attention to her. Which is fair enough. I don't blame her. That's that one. And then in here we've got packet of silica gel I'm just going to stay in there it is again another two prong cable for something a empty filter filter case a cable another cable Not in there I might have to move that one to a bigger box. And then we've got a filter thing. It says here boots filter holder, but on the top it says it's a UV filter. And it's a teeny, teeny, tiny thing. All right, wrapped in a lens cloth. So that's that one there. It is really, really small. So there you go. Really, really tiny thing, but uh, it's cute in a box. I'm just going to wrap that one back up and I think we've got two more bags going. This is already I think, 30 minutes long. This is why I'm not going to be doing any more after I've done the bags. There is also, oh, the camera strap in there. Don't know what that's for. That's that one. Oh, let's have this one next. This is a big bag. Oh, and I haven't done it up. Another bag. So this is just part of it. So there's a pocket there with nothing in it. Pocket on the side, nothing in that one. Again, this was from another auction. Um, pocket there, nothing in that pocket. I've probably taken it out and just shoved it all in the front or something. Nothing in front, so it's all in the top. So in the top on this one, I have another National Flash. This one is a National PE145. No batteries in it, which is always good. Just check the batteries. Make sure there's nothing in there because if there's batteries in there we could get battery leakages. What I'm probably going to do if, when I finished is put all the batteries, uh, batteries, put all the flashes together, all the Minolta's together, all the compacts together. I know, I know. And so on. Now we've got in here one of these things which is uh, in bits really. Oh, that was noisy. Oh, it's got it. Oh, it, I see. Oh, right. okay, fair. So it's one of, one of those. A empty film canister, because you get them everywhere. We've got a broken lens, which I knew there would be. Um, there's a filter here. I'm not sure whether it's a filter on part of a broken lens or whether it's a polarizing So I need to have a look at that. But it, yeah, it looks like it's a polarizing filter, to be fair. Might put it in that filter thing I had. Should we put it in the filter thing we had? 
Oh yeah, and then we got a broken lens, but it has got a back on it. Well, it hasn't got a back on it, because it's come off, so. But yeah, so that was a lens, um, but now it's not, because it's broken. So that'll be going in the trash. We have a damaged Miranda, which is a shame. Oh, come on, sweetheart. So we have a Miranda, the side catch is broken, so it doesn't shut. I'm sure that's fixable. Um, yeah, I okay, so she's found something else. <laughs> now she's fine on the floor playing with it. So the camera bag itself is a tough traveller. I hope I don't have to refill all this. Okay. Uh, next is a one of these really crappy sort of cameras. Barrette Electronic. It might be really good. I've no idea. I've never seen one before. Um, back opens up all right, looks pretty clean inside. <laughs> so that's that one. Um, it's not all plastic, there's some plastic to it. I'm going to have to do some research into this one because I have absolutely no idea. I mean, it looks pretty cheap, but it has got a hot shoe on the top, so we'll take one of the many flashes that I've got here. And we've got another film canister. There's nothing in this one? It must be the other one. Another, yeah, another empty film canister. And the last thing I believe. Oh no, there's another film canister. That one's got a pin in it, which I think might be for the Miranda. Um, but I'm not sure, and I am, but you know, I no idea. And this is a very mouldy X. EXA EXA. Can you buy my yellow Dresden. So again, I would need to. This needs some serious cleaning up. It may not work. There's no lens. I don't even think there's anything, any way of making it work. But that would have been a heavy duty one. It's quite mouldy and dirty. But, uh, we will look into it because I don't know anything about it. And that's what it's about. It's a good way of um, looking into things. So there's some bits of paper in the, the top which says. Um, worldwide chain of service centres for national flash units. So I love these bits of paper. So let's have a look. Europe, England, Wembley and Misselsex was the only one. There you go. And then we've got an operating instructions for the national PE145. So there's one of the instructions for the one of the flash units. Excellent. It goes in the instructions bag. That's that one. Definitely nothing else in there. Excellent. One more bag to go, and then that's it. I'm going to put this lot away, and then tomorrow we might do another one. We might do it tomorrow. We get on to the exciting stuff tomorrow, the stuff in the totes, which are, uh, are some older cameras, as well as some great bodies and lenses. We'll get onto the lenses soon as well. Right. Oh, this one I think was a video camera case by the look of it. So we've got that here. Now, this has got this original tag, and it says April 96. Camera bags by Guardsman. So that's the original thing. On the back says Guardsman, the perfect protectors for oil photographic equipment. Ballistic nylon, incredibly tough, water resistant, extremely sturdy, remarkably lightweight, guaranteed for three years. I think it's guaranteed right now. But that's quite fun, put that in there. So there's lots of bits in here. So this is. Oh, you know what this is? This is a holder with a heart shape. So it's like you put it in front of the lens and it'll put your picture in a heart. Why you would want to do that, I don't know. We have yet another lens cleaning kit to add to the collection of lens cleaning kits I've got. Books. This is, I love these things. So what have we got in this one? This is, um, this is uh, one for a Sony digital stills camera, a Cybershot DSC-P1. So they probably had a digital camera. There is a digital camera in it, but I don't think it's that one. It might be though. Um, and then we got a Sony a video camera. I think it's a digital one by the look of it. It's all the accessories you can get for it, so that's pretty cool. And then we've got the digital video recorder operating instructions, digital handy cam. 
doesn't surprise you that there's a manual for this in there because I know that there's a battery somewhere. It should be in this box, probably. But I don't think I've actually got the Sony Handycam, but I've got the instruction manual. Next thing we've got in here is... Tells me what was originally in here. And it's got an email address and the address of the person that used to own it. We've got uh, accessory leaflet for the cyber shot. Then the next thing is a really old one. It is a book for the Series 2 Ilford Advocate 35mm camera. I love these old booklets, so I'm really happy to have them. There's the old photographs and things that you can get there. Now this is um, this is from the camera club that this person attended. It's the Sedgwick Photographic Club and it's like some data sheets. Oh, what's wrong? Data sheets. And another one for the cyber shot there. And then some handwritten notes. So that's all the paperwork, I think. Oh, good. You know what? This tub is getting really full up with just paperwork. Which is really cool. I think that's it. Oh, here, no, there's more. No, there's more. So here is the Handycam battery. Um, it's the Handycam Cybershot Mavica. And this is sealed in its original packaging. I don't know if there's going to be any use for it. If I haven't got the camera, I'll see if it'll sell on eBay. Probably go for five or something ridiculously silly. So what we got in here now? More cameras. Oh, this is quite hard. This is a Zenit B. Again, I don't know if there's a lens for this. I'm going to have to look at the lenses. And I can find out what lenses they take. But this is a real sturdy old camera made in USSR. As far as I know, it's very, very tight. I need to look up. I don't want to break anything. I know some of these old Russian cameras are a bit different and they can be a bit dodgy if you don't operate them correctly. So I would look that up to see if I can get that working because that's a nice. That is so heavy. Three more cameras. See what I mean about how many cameras? There's three more camera bodies in here and we haven't even started on the boxes yet. Hard work. So this is a Practica BX20. Hi. No film. I think I looked in this one. Or is this the one with the film in it? No, no film in that one. Shutters all look in good condition. I'm checking the shutter curtains. Um, yeah. But again, I will have a look online for a manual. I think somebody wants to come up. Hang on. All right. Come here then. Whee! All right. Look in there. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Say hello to everybody. There's you, it's my girl, you all right? So there are two more, is it two more? Yeah, two more cameras. So I'll very quickly show you these ones before I finish, wrap this up for the day. So the next one is a Yashica and it's a 200 AF. That's what it says on it. I do have a Yashica upstairs. So with any luck, I've got a lens that'll fit that. I'll just show you the camera, there it is. Again, I've got no body cap and no lens on it. I'm hoping that, like I said, the lens, the lens on the upstairs one will fit, or there'll be one in one of these two, three tote boxes I've got. And the last one is another Canon, and this is the Canon EOS Rebel G. Again, no lens. I would say this one was later than the other Canon, because this is a lot more lightweight. It feels more plasticky, cheaper, and just not as sturdy. Doesn't mean to say it's not a good camera, and if it works, I'll be running a film for it. And uh, these are the most likely ones that I'm gonna to wanna to keep because as I said earlier, I'm a Canon girl. Now I'm just gonna check that there's no other bits I've missed. Nothing in there and there, nothing in there. There are some side pockets and I've got a feeling, yeah, there's something in that one. All right, all right, all right. We're nearly done. Oh, look, another filter uh, holder. There's only one more thing and these in two bits. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple more caps here. There's a Nikon cap and I don't know what this is. Do you know what this is? I know I've had photography stuff for years and I have no idea there's loads of these. If you know what that is, tell me. Because I don't know, is it part of a lens? I don't know. And a Nikon lens cap, always handy. Because I do have a Nikon camera. There's another one. I have no idea what they are. 
and in here we have a red Rico mini tripod it's in two bits so I don't know how it would work I've got no idea I assume you undo this and that opens up oh I've just dropped a bit oh I've dropped a washer I have no idea but it's in two bits so and I can only see two legs so I can't see how it would um, do it so there you go uh, the Rico ah, mini tripod so that's everything that's in the camera bags this has been a long video it's gonna take me ages to edit it because of the, all the screaming but it's all right we don't mind um, there is still three totes to go so I'm gonna do now is put Jennifer down and let her scream probably I'm going to put all the Minolta's together, all the compacts together and try and get some kind of order into this. I'm going to make a list of everything I've got and then hopefully um, I'll be able to know what I'm doing when it comes to it. I'm going to try and keep the totes unburied because they had camera bags all over. I'm going to try not to put the camera bags back on them so that I can actually get into them and we'll have a look at those uh, in another video. So that's the end of part one of the humongous camera haul featuring Jennifer because she wants to be in all the videos because she likes it. Um, I got a lot of testing and a lot of figuring out to go to do. It should be fun um, and I can't wait. So yeah, I don't think it's all there somehow. The tripod thing, it might be. But I need to find an instruction panel. Anyway, that's all for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video, even with a little bit of noise um, from Peanut in the background. If you have, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave me uh, any information on any of the cameras or items I've asked for. If you leave it down in the comments below, I will, of course, uh, appreciate it. And obviously... Uh, respond to your comments accordingly so thanks for stopping by hopefully the next one won't be as long because I'm not going to do every, all three totes in one go I'm going to split it into two separate videos um, but yeah I will see you soon so take care everybody bye say bye bye